Hello and welcome to a new reading vlog. I'm going to be honest, reading is going to be a loose interpretation of this vlog. I don't really plan on getting that much reading done. This is going to be a short vlog. It's only two days. Um, two days plus today. That's two and a half days. Um, but I thought I would vlog because it is my birthday party weekend and I thought that would be a good time to like vlog and you know have some fun. So um, my birthday is actually not till next week but this is the day that I had available. So um, we're doing that on Sunday. It is Friday. Um, but tonight we are going to see the Challengers movie which I'll be honest, it's a movie way outside my comfort zone. I don't really like serious dramas, but it has Zendaya and it's what everyone else wanted to see. So I'm gonna give it a try, I'll let you know. Um, for now, we, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. We'll leave in like an hour. Um, I am reading, <laughs> I'm reading Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by Julia Quinn. And look, those two actors playing Penelope and Colin, they have a lot of charm. And clearly they have so much charm they were able to convince me to pick up another Julia Quinn book. So um, I'm not very far in. I'm on like chapter two. Um, I rented the ebook. I ju I'm just in it for Colin and Penelope. I don't really like the world. I don't really care about all the other characters. I will say I'm a little surprised that it's like not... Well, I'm not surprised that it's not the same as the show, but like I'm surprised, one, how much longer the timeline is. Um, the book is like years and years and years later after the events of the first season of the show um in the first book and then also um the reader doesn't know about Lady Whistledown and like who she is so it makes me wonder a is Penelope Lady Whistledown in the books um also spoilers I guess but I feel like everybody knows that because of the show now um and b did I say one or a whatever um like it's weird, like, why are you writing from Penelope's perspective and not, like, evasively, like, she's directly talking about Lady Whistledown in her mind and she's just not acknowledging that it's her in her mind? That's kind of weird. Like, I don't like the red herring of, like, distracting the readers. They don't know who it is. Unless in the books it's not her. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll read a little bit of that. I'm, I don't really care about Lady Whistledown stuff, to be honest. I'm just here for Colin and Penelope and their relationship, period. Um, but I also want to show you this real quick. I got um, this WandaVision costume. I just wanted to show it to you because it was behind me. Look how cute it is. Um, I decided for con, which I will vlog, um, I'm going to do a weekend of Wanda. So I'm doing three different Wanda costumes, um, which I'm so excited about. Um, I'm going to do the 70s. I'm going to do the, the like traditional like um, costume she wears on the finale episode of One Vision. And then um, I have the hoodie from uh, the 2000s episode of One Vision slash the finale. She wears it in the finale. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, maybe I'll actually play my Switch a little bit this weekend. Um, it's probably dead. And I don't know. I've also, uh, have such migraine. Um, and I've actually had this migraine for like a month. Um, so yeah. Is that an update? Um, I'm pretty low energy because I worked last night so I just woke up. But I will check in later, let you guys know how Challengers was, I guess. Um... But I'm gonna go just relax and read for a little bit so um, before we have to go that's my update I have a very relaxing day planned for tomorrow and then Sunday we are celebrating my birthday so I will keep you updated like I said I don't think very much readings happening in this vlog but I'm gonna call it a reading vlog anyway hello an update it's hours later went and saw the movie it it was a movie that's for sure um, like is a strong word I Definitely couldn't guess what was going to happen next. It was surprising. Um, was it good? No. Um, Zendaya was amazing and she looked great. Um, I just don't like movies about terrible people. Um, and they were terrible people. Except, I don't know, the character Art, who was the who is from Newsies, which I love newsies so maybe I'm biased he was less terrible um, but Zendaya's character and the other guy horrid people so kind of bored and the music 
was horrible and some of the like directing was kind of weird um, I'm just I just I am I'm not a film person I just want to watch my little Marvel movies my little rom-coms my Hallmark movies I don't need the fancy stuff I just don't get it I, I'm never gonna get it and that's okay anyway um, I still have a migraine, so I'm going to try and relax a little bit tonight, um, try and get some sleep, and I have a very relaxing day um, planned for tomorrow, which is good. Um, hopefully my headache will be slightly less terrible tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to read a little bit of Romancing Mr. Richardson. I'm on, like, chapter two chapter three or something um but i'll let you know what i think about it in the morning i'm gonna lay down and try to relax and try and get my head to cooperate with the rest of my body you know migraines super super fun okay but i'm gonna try and read for a little bit um i thought there was something else i was gonna say but i can't remember so bye hello hi welcome it's the next day it is saturday I actually got quite a bit of reading done last night. I got to chapter 17 um, of Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I am liking it. Um, there are aspects that I'm liking. So I love Colin and I love Penelope and I love their characters together. But some of the like writing skill is just not there. Um, in the aspects with Lady Whistledown. Like, the whole thing is just so weird to me. And she keeps, like, Penelope keeps, it is Penelope in the books. It was such a weird approach to writing for the first half to, like, even though you're in Penelope's mind, not know that it's Penelope. Like, it's just, I didn't like that. And then, like, wouldn't it have been more exciting to, like, open chapter one because chapter one's a flashback like to open that with her writing Lady Whistledown would that not have made more sense but whatever um Colin still wouldn't have known but anyway the discussions that are happening with it just like don't really make sense to me like she's apologizing and like saying you know how she did it but not she's not explaining why she did it why is she Lady Whistledown I don't get it <laughs> like and I know I still have half of the book so maybe Maybe she'll explain it, but um, as for their actual relationship, I am enjoying it. I'm liking the way they communicate. Um, it's, you know, funny and just like fun to read. I'm loving the steamy scenes between them. Um, I'm loving like getting a glimpse into Colin's head where he's just like, I've known her for a decade and all of a sudden like I'm realizing I'm an idiot. Loving that. Um, it's definitely so far, it seems like it's going to be very different than the show based on the commercial. Um, like in the trailer, she's trying to find a husband, but in here she's like accepted that she's a spinster. So definitely a little bit different, but I am having fun. I'm enjoying. Um, this is another book that I need to read soon when no one is watching by Alyssa Cole. It's a thriller. I do want to read this, but honestly... Cause I think I'm gonna finish this book today. Um, I just wanna read more historical romances. I don't know what. I am listening to a Tessa Dare book, historical romance. Um, I might just, yeah, keep picking up historical romances. I'm just kinda in the mood for them. So um, anyway, my plans for today, for now I'm gonna sit and read and take some ibuprofen. Um, that migraine, still here. Um, and and then today I have a massage appointment. I booked myself an extra treat. Um, and hopefully it'll help with my headache. Um, but it's actually right next to a Barnes & Noble. So I'm going to go a couple hours early and spend some time at Barnes & Noble. I might shop a little bit, but there's nothing, like off the top of my head, there's no books that like I really, really want right now, let alone that I buy at Barnes & Noble. I don't buy a lot of books at Barnes & Noble. I'm sorry, they're too expensive. But um, I do want to go to the cafe and like sit and I'm going to bring my laptop and I'm going to get some writing done. That is my plan for the day. I'm at like, I think 17,000 words and my goal is 25,000. Um, I have three days to complete that. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, doesn't really sound like it's going to, but regardless, I really like feel like I'm going to keep writing like 
this project past April. Like a lot of the times I'll lose my momentum after NaNoWriMo or Camp NaNoWriMo, um, but I'm really passionate about this one. So um, that's my plan for the day. Very relaxing me day. So I am gonna eat some breakfast now that it's almost noon um, and read some more Bridgerton and see how it goes. So like, I mean, at least Colin's real swoony. That's what I can say about this book. I am very much enjoying that aspect. Um, I just, <laughs> this is gonna sound mean. Um, you know how the, sometimes there are authors and I, like, I guess everyone has a different impression of, author, of different authors, but like there are definitely some in my head that like, to me, act like they, they act like they know that they're such good writers that's the vibe I'm getting from this writing. I don't, I think it's just like, oh, I've been keeping this secret, haha, <laughs> you didn't guess it. Like that kind of thing. I don't, in my opinion, you should, this is a romance, so like maybe it's different in thrillers, but like you should be able to guess it at least a little bit. If you didn't plant any seeds, then it's not really a like a surprise. It's just like a left turn out of nowhere, so. Anyway, I'm done complaining. I am enjoying the characters. I am going to go keep reading and I will update you later. Hello. I didn't even update when I got home. Um, I ended up going to this little bakery place for lunch because the Barnes & Noble parking lot was too busy. Um, and then I went and got my massage. And then I came home, I got some writing done. I wrote like 1,500 words today. I've got 5,000 words to make my goal. So can I write 5,000 words tomorrow night? We'll see. Um, but I'm almost done with the Bridgerton book. I've got two chapters left. So I'm gonna go put a face mask on, lay down, and do that. Um, and I will update you in the morning what I think about it. Um, I still like it but I don't love it I don't I haven't quite gathered my thoughts I don't know I think I will end up liking the TV show better is my guess but um, still don't get the whistle down stuff and then like Colin was like I'm just jealous that you have a legacy I'm like what legacy I'll admit it is impressive that she was able to keep her identity a secret for a decade. It's a decade in the book. It's been a couple years, like a year in the show. But, like, <laughs> why is that what she chose to do? If you want to anonymously publish something, cool. But gossip papers, I just don't get it. And my camera's flashing that it's dead, so I can't keep complaining about Bridgerton. I am enjoying it. It's just not going to be a five star, I can tell you that. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish it, and I will tell you more in the morning. Bye! Hello. This is quite the look I have this morning, but I wanted to update what I read as I get ready for the day. Um, if I knew where anything was. There's my sunscreen. Anyway, um, I finished the Bridgerton book. It was good. I really like the chemistry between the characters, and I like the characters. I just didn't like some of the like plot devices. I don't like the writing with the plot, like the plot just wasn't strong enough. Um, I still, I, I stand by, I don't understand Lady Whistledown. I don't get it. Um, why does everyone care? Why is that like her big thing that she's done? Um, why did it matter? Well, actually, I got why it mattered if she was revealed to everybody, but that was a really interesting scene. So yeah, in the end, I think I would give it like a three stars. I actually haven't worked at this run on Goodreads yet, but, um, I don't think I'll probably read any other ones from the Bridger Sam series. The only other one that maybe captures my interest is Eloise's book, and that's the other thing. So I know it's going to be different from the show, and I actually think the show will end up being better. But the thing that got me is like the biggest change is Eloise's reaction in the show versus the book to finding out was like literally so different. I don't know how they're going to play it off in the show eventually. And I also, 
well, in the show, I think she wrote about Eloise, so that was really why she was more angry. But, like, just being angry for keeping the secret, that I don't get. Because Eloise wouldn't have been able to keep the secret, and it was important to her to keep the secret for some reason. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand why she wanted to be Lady Whistledown. I just don't get it. Um, like, oh, your legacy is gossip. Like, if she wanted to write, she should have wrote, like, stories or even, like, diaries. Why a gossip column? But whatever. Um, so anyway, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I do not know. If I pick that out, I'll let you know. Um, I'm gonna go finish, do a little bit of makeup, and I'll show you my final Barbie-inspired look. Because we're going to the art museum today that has a Barbie exhibit, so... I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, that's why I've got my hair in the curlers and I look slightly crazy, but I'll show you the final look in a little bit. This is the final look. It's really dark in here. Put some lashes on yesterday. Tried to curl my hair. It's not really bad. Got this Barbie dress. Wearing a little necklace. Got my friendship bracelets on, a couple rings. I like the twirliness. So yeah, we're gonna get going, but this is my little birthday party look. I didn't pick what I'm gonna read. I don't know. I was thinking historical romance, but now that I'm like standing here looking at them, I'm like, do I want to read one? I don't know. I don't know. That'll be a problem for later me to figure out, so. I like how my makeup turned out. Didn't it? I didn't do a lot. It was very like quick look. I haven't put my lip gloss on, but this is the look. Cute. Still have a migraine, but what are you gonna do? and hours later but I had a lot of fun today um, like you saw we went to the Barbie exhibit we went and got some food um, we went to Barnes & Noble didn't get anything but just went to look around um, and yeah it was a nice day I am tired but I have to go back to work tomorrow um, which I'm not ecstatic about but tonight um, I plan on trying to get some writing done it is the honestly what is the date today the 28th I think um, possibly the 27th I'm really I'm really not sure um, of April and NaNoWriMo ends the 30th and I work the next couple of days so I'm gonna try and finish that's 5,000 words but like what is 5,000 words but like 10 pages 15 pages I really don't know actually we're gonna find out um, so that's what I'm gonna do now after I shower but a couple things. One, I told you I finished the Bridgerton book. I don't know exactly what I'm going to read next. I'm between, these are the ones that I picked off the shelf. A Scandalous Steel by Joanna Shoup, A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem by Amanda Collins, um, Presidential Bargain by Rebecca Gallo or Gallo, I never learned how to say her name, and The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Burns, which would be a reread. Um, I seem to remember this one being a little slow to get into, which I don't think is what I need right now. And I think I want a more strictly romance book, so that leaves me the other three. I'm not sure. I do love this cover. Um, I want to read this. I don't know if I want to read it right now. Um, so that leaves me the historicals, and like, like sitting down, I didn't know if I was in the mood for a historical necessarily. Um, but we're going to give it a try. So we're between Joanna Shoup and Amanda Collins. My friend voted for this one. And usually I just let her um, choose what I'm going to read when I can't decide. Um, let's see what this is about. England, 1865. Newspaper, and I do love Amanda Collins. She wrote one of my all-time favorite historical romances, How to Dance with the Duke, with a Duke. Read that book. So good. Anyway, um... She got like a little, for some reason these were printed in regular paperbacks, but it's a historical romance. I wish they were in mass markets, but whatever. 
first of all, they're more expensive. Second, I, why, why? I said this at Barnes & Noble today too. Like, what do people, what does publishing have against people on the covers right now? I, I hate the cartoon covers. They're all ugly. A lot of them are misleading for what's going to be in the book. Like, why are you putting a cartoon cover on like a mafia romance? It makes no sense. Anyway, I'm obviously not focusing very well. Um, newspaper colonist Lady Catherine Bascombe finds herself the subject of speculation when her latest article leads to an arrest in the murders plaguing London. I'm sold. Um, the English women believe the English believe women ought to ought not to write such bro. I, I'm so tired about such vulgar things as crime and a particularly attractive detective inspector. I'm so sold, is incensed that she's interfered with his investigation to escape her sudden notoriety, notor, notoriety? That's a hard word to say. Catherine heads to the country only to witness a murder upon her arrival. Detective Inspector Andrew Eversham is appalled when Lady Catherine entangles herself in one of his cases again. Her sensationalist reporting already nearly got him kicked off the police force and he'll be damned if he permits her to meddle a second time. Yet her questions are awfully insightful and he can't deny his attraction to both her beauty and brains. As the clues points to a dangerous criminal, the two soon realize their best option is working together, but with the focus on their focus on the killer lurking in the shadows, neither is prepared for the other risk the case poses to their hearts. Yeah, I'm sold. Yeah, no, that sounds amazing. Um, it sounds like a adult romance version of Sucking Jack Ripper. I'm sold. I'm gonna read that. And I actually have its sequel, which I believe follows different characters, would be my guess, but, well, does it? Let's see, ew, it's a different, it's a different material. That's so funny. This, see how it doesn't make that noise? Anyway, yeah, so this will follow different characters. Anyway, if you like, like, blue stocking as a trope in historical romance, dang, I knocked over Walt. Um, if you like blue stocking characters, check out Amanda Collins. She's amazing. Anyway, um, also, I thought I'd just quickly show you what my friends got me for my birthday. So, I got this book from my friend. It's called Pestilence by Laura Thalissa. Um, it is a fantasy romance. Um, these covers definitely just got updated. Remember, they used to be covers of, like, men, like, painted in gold. Anyway. Um, kind of like those covers better, but it's fine. Again, like, why, why does publishing hate people on the covers right now? Um, that, that also was probably self-published, and this is traditionally published. Um, but, I'll just read the little top part. Um, Pestilence, War, Famine, and Death. This is about pestilence. Um, the four horsemen riding their screaming steeds, racing to the corners of the world, four horsemen with the power to destroy all of humanity. They came to Earth and they came to end us all. Um, but then, somehow, this man, so he takes the heroine, Sarah, prisoner, um, and I'm gonna guess, kind of fall in love in a semi-toxic um, way, but fun. I don't know. I, it sounds fun. Um, and uh, I really like the font, which is just a weird, um, I would love to know what font this is. Would it be weird to message the author and say, hey, what font did they use? I'd like to know. Um, cause it's different than like this one. Is it? Maybe it's just a bigger text. I am not focusing. Okay. And then she got me a couple face masks, which would be fun to use cause I was running low. Um, and then, oh, I, put, I forgot I put both things in here. The other thing, where is it? Anyway. My other friend got me the Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth Perfume, um, because she asked me, what do you want for your birthday? And I sent her this link and I said, I love this Sabrina Carpenter perfume. So, it has, like, a super sweet vanilla but it's like super subtle so it's not like you're spraying Bath and Body Works vanilla bean on you. I love it. Um, my sister had it, went through the bottle, and so now I have one for myself. And my other friend made me this cutie little book sleeve, 
look at that it's like a little envelope and then there's this little button that says handmade for you with love how cute is that let's test it out let's put my my paper back in there and she put it in purple because I am a purple girl as you can see by the purple walls behind me how cute is that um, I feel like buttons are harder than they need to be especially with blind nails now look at that now if I want to bring this book to work it is protected in my backpack or if I want to bring it to a coffee shop or whatever I can do this I do have book sleeves but like this is cuter and handmade with love actually all of my book sleeves are also handmade by someone just not by my best friend so cute okay I'm going to shower and then write and I will update um, one more before I close out the vlog um, when am I gonna edit this vlog when am I gonna edit last week's vlog I don't know I don't know anyway I hope you enjoyed this little update um, oh and I forgot my friend also got me this keychain I'm gonna go put it on my keys today actually I love Diet Coke and so she went to Vegas recently and she went to the Coke store and so she got me this it's not gonna focus while it moves huh hello whatever you already saw it. um I love Diet Coke I'm very very passionate in fact today I went to McDonald's for a Diet Coke and they clearly needed to replace the carbonation part of the machine um, it was a very disappointing Diet Coke. Anyway, that's my update. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Let's go see if I can write 5,000 words.